Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own Blue Sky Personal Data Server or PDS on DigitalOcean's cloud services. So to begin, let's go to digitalocean.com and create an account. After you've done that, you're going to go to the sidebar here and click on New Project. And we're going to give our project a name. We're going to call it Blue Sky. And then under Select Purpose, click Web Application and create the project. Skip this section, and then we're greeted with our dashboard. Uh, what we need to do is spin up what DigitalOcean recalls a droplet. Droplets are virtual machines. In this case, there is a Blue Sky PDS virtual machine already created on their marketplace. Um, so go ahead and click Spin Up a Droplet. And then the first thing you're asked is where you would like the droplet to live. Um, in this case, New York is close to me, so I'm going to go ahead and choose New York and scroll down. Under choose an image section, we're going to click on marketplace and then type in blue sky. Click on the blue sky social PDS and then continue scrolling. Under choose size, uh, the PDS really does not take many server resources to run. So we're going to choose the basic plan and a regular SSD disk type. Um, and then the $6 plan with one gigabyte of RAM and one CPU core and 25 gigabytes of storage space is really all that we need to start out. Bear in mind that if you post a lot of media to Blue Sky, um, you may need to increase the storage over time, or you could just set up a larger instance right now. Uh, there is the ability to add uh, storage later on, on uh, DigitalOcean. You could always do that. So let's continue to scroll. Under choose authentication method, we're going to choose password and then type in a very strong password here for the root account. I already have one saved, so paste it in. And then finally, we need to give our droplet a host name that's recognizable. We're just going to call it Blue Sky PDS. And then create the droplet. Okay, once the droplet is created, you will see your host name over here and an IP address right here. So the next step is we need to configure our DNS to point to this droplet. And to do that, we're going to copy uh, this IP address here, and then we need to go to our domain registrar. Uh, my domain is registered with Cloudflare, so I'm going to use their interface and show you how to navigate that. Uh, your DNS may look different, but it's still the same process. So let's go over to Cloudflare. Here we go. And we're going to select my uh, hyperlab.co domain. If you needed to add a domain on Cloudflare's interface, you would click this blue button over here. Um, but uh, this is already added. We're going to use this. So let's click that. All right. And then under DNS records over here, click this. And then we're greeted with the DNS management table. Um, we need to add two A type records. Um, so in this case, I'm going to add a subdomain to be our Blue Sky PDS. So we're going to do Blue Sky PDS. Notice it says Blue Sky PDS dot Hyperlab dot co. Um, so it's a subdomain of Hyperlab dot co. We're going to paste that IP address here and then turn off the proxy status and we're going to save it. The second A record that we need is a wildcard for that. So let's just do do a wildcard, we do an asterisk, and we do blue sky PDS, same IP address, undo the proxy status, and click save. So now that that's in place, uh, we can go back to our blue sky project on uh, DigitalOcean, and we can go to the ellipses here on the droplet and go to the access console. And now it'll say launch droplet console. We're going to click on that. And the console will launch. And you'll see that it's already started what's called an installer.sh, a shell script. Um, this is the Blue Sky PDS installer, and it's waiting for us uh, to enter our public DNS address, the domain that we just set up. So let's enter that blue sky pds.hyperlab.co. And then it's asking for an admin email address. So I'm just going to use my uh, email address. This does not need to be related to the domain. There we go. And press enter. 
and then it'll take about a minute for the droplet to configure itself, install packages that it needs. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. Okay, so now that uh, the setup is complete, we are being asked to create a PDS account. So let's type Y, enter, and then enter an email address. Uh, we're going to use my personal address. And now it's asking us to enter a handle. This is the handle that will appear on Blue Sky's network that other people will be able to see. Um, we can and will change this later in the video, but for now we're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to put in uh, my name, jason.blueskypds.hyperlab.co and press enter. Okay, so if everything uh, works, you will be greeted by this uh, section here that says the account was created successfully and it will give you a handle, DID, and password. Now, it is very important that we uh, copy this information as the password will not be available once this screen uh, is closed. So I'm going to uh, open a text document here. I'm going to paste that information here and we're going to use it a little later. So um, the one last thing to do uh, before we move past this screen um, is uh, we need to go and set up a uh, SMTP server, which is an email sending uh, server uh, so that the uh, PDS can transact with uh, your email address because Blue Sky will send out verification emails, they'll send out password reset emails using this uh, server. So what we need to do is um, let's go ahead and exit this. So type exit, enter, and then click close. <clears throat> what I do is I use SendGrid. They have a, uh, a free tier that does 100 free emails uh, per month, which is uh, good for these kinds of things. Um, so if go to SendGrid and sign up for an account, and once you do, You'll be greeted with a dashboard and we need to set up two things so we're going to go to settings and then we're going to set up a sender authentication <clears throat> so a sender is an identity email that the system will use to send the, um, the emails out and for me i have two senders set up one on a personal email and one uh, servers at hyperlab.co um, so if you when you get to this page you would click on verify a single sender and then this pop-up will appear asking you to fill out all this information, including your address uh, from email address, reply to email address. Um, once that's done and you create this sender and you receive the authentication email and verify it, uh, then you can move to the next step. So the next step is let's go to the settings and API keys. We need to create an API key for this Blue Sky PDS. We're gonna click create API key. <clears throat> And then let's give it a name, Blue Sky PDS Demo. Allow it full access, and then click Create and View. Okay, so the API key is created. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this. We're going to put it on our text document here. There we go. And then click Done. Okay, so the API key is created. And now we need to go back to the command line and run a few commands to get the SMTP set up on the droplet. So let's go back there. Let's click Launch Droplet Console. Okay, so we're going to open a text editor called Nano and uh, we're going to open an environmental file. Um, so to do that, you're going to go to Nano and then type in slash pds slash pds dot env and press enter and then we're greeted with the environmental file for the pds so let's take the cursor and put it all the way down uh, at the next uh, blank line let's move our text into view here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this first line here the pds email from address that's my sender that i had already set up and we're going to paste that here there we go. And then hit enter, go to the next line. Now on this PDS email SMTP URL, where it says secret key here, we need to take this secret key that we just got from SendGrid and put that in its place. So we're going to copy that. We're going to delete that and then paste. 
Okay, and so now we need to copy this entire line right here, go over to here and paste that. And then if you press down, you'll see it's an entire line. And then to save this document, we're going to overwrite the file by pressing Control O and press Enter and then Control X. There we go. Okay. And now once we've changed the environmental file, we need to restart the PDS instance. And to do that, we're going to type in system CTL restart PDS enter. Okay, and now the PDS is uh, restarted with our SMTP in place. So now we can type exit and then click close. Okay, and now we're gonna move this out of view. And now we can go to Blue Sky and actually log in. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're gonna go to bluesky.app under hosting provider. You're going to uh, change this to our domain that we just set up. So let's do blue sky PDS dot hyperlab dot co and press done. There we go. And then under account, we're going to type in the account that we created. Jason dot blue sky. Whoops. Hmm. PDS dot hyperlab dot co and then put in that password that we copied right here. and click next. Okay, so the system logged us in. It's asking us to verify your email. Um, if you, uh, whenever you see this page, go ahead and do that because we did set up the SMTP on the droplet and you will receive the verification email. I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna close that. Okay, so the one last thing to do would be to uh, change our username or our handle um, to our domain name. Um, I do, I've done this on my uh, real Blue Sky account at hyperlab.co. Um, it's super simple. What we do is we go to settings and then we go to account and then we click on handle and then you'll click on I have my own domain. What we need to do is take this text value right here, DID uh, equals and that's the my unique DID number uh, we need to copy that and we need to go back to our uh, domain provider uh, in this case Cloudflare and enter this as a text value um, and we're going to use the host as underscore AT proto and the type as a text so we need to go back to Cloudflare we need to add a record and in this case under type we're going to scroll down and select text and under name underscore AT proto and then paste in that value and then we'll click save. Now on this domain I already have another text value for uh, my top level domain so this will not work whenever I go in and verify the DNS record however once you do this and you save it you can come back here and click verify and it will uh, go ahead and uh, change your handle to your domain. In this case, if I wanted to do blue sky pds.hyperlab.co, um, that would actually change my handle and I would be known on the system as this instead of Jason dot. Um, so we're not, not gonna do that there. So um, it was pretty easy to set that up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Um, and as always, you can find me on Blue Sky at hyperlab.co. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, have a great day. Thank you.